Hey there, welcome to another Let's Play. Today we'll be playing a different game called Code Vein. Some people call it a, an anime version of Dark Souls. So, let's get into it then. Good morning. Hey, can you hear me? Think back. Search your memory for an image of yourself. Oh, there's a code name. So it's like it's like um it's like God either, huh? For the purpose of saving some time, I have already pre-created a an appearance. I'm just gonna load it in right here to save some time. And let's dive right in. Yeah, that's what you look like. Now we can finally meet. Okay, so it throws out, throws us into a tutorial area. We finally meet. Are you clear-headed? You will now be reborn as an immortal creature, a revenant. There are things you will need to know in your new life, so listen well. Each revenant has a different power coursing through their veins, called a blood code. A blood code. The best way to learn about it is to try it for yourself. Ah, I see. So this blood code is like uh, a class or a job system of some sort. That is a fighter blood code, which is excellent for combat. Each talent that a blood code bestows is known as a gift. The fighter blood code grants ever-increasing endurance. It seems you also have a gift that temporarily enhances your attack power. Try it out. So gifts are... Skills, in other words. Very well. Give it a try. Yes, that will do. There we go. Be warned. The effects of a gift will not work unless it is prepared in advance. I forgot something important. You will need special blood to activate gifts. This blood comes from revenants who have forgotten themselves and turned into monsters. The Lost. You can drain Icor from the Lost by striking them with your weapon. Remember that. Those are the basics of a fighter's gifts. Use and learn each of them well. That was a backstab. Well done. Ordinarily, a revenant has only one blood code, but you are different. The blood code you once held was broken and has vanished. That has left you with infinite possibilities. You have the unique talent to change your blood code. Come, look deep within yourself. A new class, or blood code as they call it. The Ranger, huh? Excels at providing support and defense buffs with gifts. 
That blood code is known as Ranger. Oh dear, that weapon seems to be too heavy for you. Rangers are nimble and best at fighting with light weaponry. Try switching to a bayonet. Oh. I see. So it's too heavy for some class. Yes, that's much better, isn't it? Oh, firing your bayonet requires Ico as well. That and gifts means Ico always seems scanned. That is where the blood veil you have equipped comes in. So oh, Ico is this number down there that dictates whether we can use certain skills or not. If you have a chance to drain Icor from a foe, use it. Yeah, there we go. A backstab. Or a back attack, simply. Ah, interesting. So we can also um, utilize it into combos. Just how, like, in um, God Eaters, you can do a quick devour in the middle of your weapon combo. Hang on, let me rebind some of these keys. I'm not very fond of the dodging keys. Dodge is this one. Oh. Um. There we go. There we go, that's much better. Hmm. Let me also change the key binding for interacting. Eh? Is there no... Seems like there's n none. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to get used to it. That sums up the Ranger blood code and training. Let us try one more blood code. Now, turn your gaze inward. The caster. That is what is called the caster blood code. Okay, so we have the three main archetypes, the warrior, the melee combatant, the ranger, the ranged combatants, and the caster, the one who uses magic. Oh, that's cool. Learning skills, huh? Ah, oh, so this mistal is like uh, um, a bonfire in Dark Souls. Oh! It does look quite powerful. So be careful that you use it at the right time. In addition, its power will change according to the blood veil you equip. Blood veils have different affinities for gifts. It can be complicated, but keep it in mind. Oof, that deals a lot of damage.
excellent work. It's all quite sudden, but you picked it up, right? The disappearance of your blood code has left you with unique, limitless capabilities. Not only can you change blood codes, but you can acquire new ones as well. The strength of others can become your own, a talent that you alone possess. Since you are the only one who can do this, your blood is the only teacher you have. My blood is the only teacher I have, huh? That's now, awaken. an interesting Inside proverb. World. Stranger. Welcome back. Hello. How are you feeling? So it's the usual main character wakes up in the middle of nowhere with no memory. Except he's with somebody that also lost their memory. Over there. seems to be some white stuff protruding from the ground. Oh, I'm very slow. It's dry, isn't it? Yeah, it's dry as a desert. We can go slowly. I am here with you. Just a bit farther. We're all right. <laughs> I'm imagining what if this is like, um, where sometimes like people when they're in the deserts and they're like really thirsty, they'll start seeing illusions, like uh, an oasis in the middle of the desert, but. It was just an illusion, and the moment I got there, there's just nothing but parents seems and. Everyone, everywhere but is thirsty. Seems like that's not the case here. There is a spring that will cure that thirst, one that weeps tears of blood. That's what they said, anyway. This way. Oh. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, so apparently my blood is special. So, it is you.
Here, this is for you. Wonder what that is. Some kind of blood fruit born from a blood tree. A new spring and a fresh source of and labor. And here comes the bad guys. <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. I love some fun. So, what happened to your masks? Forgotten about those too, have you? I'll tell you whatever you want to know, but first, go oh. back there and put on a pure. There's a lot of red cloud or mist. There we go. We got our mask. That'll hopefully protect us from. Whatever that red substance is. This one's dry. The miasma's pretty thick. Damn it! We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. Right. I'm on my way. All dried up, just like the others. Y yeah, all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's. You know what these are, right? Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. You lot go first. Get to work. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there. You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. You heard him. Move it! Yeah. Oh. Hey, you okay? It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. Well, should we set out? The mistal is like a bonfire, a safe place. 
and I think that's plenty for now. So, tune back in for the next part. See you all later.